Tesla has invested a lot in its new battery technology and continues to do so. But does this battery technology give an edge over the competition and the hydrogen-powered cars? And how much edge? The raw argument has been that hydrogen vehicles rely on energy that doesn't occur naturally. That leads to the charge for inefficiency and environmental campaigns. Elon Musk blatantly dismissed the technology because, to him, it is mind-bogglingly stupid, a load of rubbish, and he refers to the fuel cells as fool cells. It is even more damning to note that China, the world's biggest EV market, is promoting the idea of new energy cars, which are a direct reference to hydrogen cars. Another technology giant, Japan, has ambitious plans to go carbon neutral by 2050 with hydrogen energy. As part of Germany's Clean Energy Environment Initiative, they are also promoting hydrogen as a sustainable energy alternative. But do we even understand what hydrogen in cars means? Let's explore hydrogen vehicles now to arrive at our own decision. Hydrogen-powered cars are often called hydrogen fuel cell cars. The hydrogen vehicles are simply an alternative fuel vehicle that uses hydrogen fuel for motor power instead of fossil fuel. They are e-cars because they are powered by an electric motor. Unlike battery electric vehicles, fuel cell electric vehicles produce their energy. The car does not have a built-in battery system that needs to be plugged in and charged to move. The hydrogen cars have their power plant on board. So as the hydrogen powers the car, there is a portion that is using the byproduct of hydrogen, heat, and water to power the battery. The peak power battery, as it is called, is small and can only add a little mileage. This downside is because hydrogen is the main character in a hydrogen-powered car. On the bright side, both of the cars have no sound due to electric installations and they are both lively when started. There are three models of hydrogen cars on the market today. They are Toyota Mirai, Honda Clarity, and Hyundai Nexo. It indeed takes a shorter time to refuel a hydrogen-powered car. For a car that consumes about three times more energy than a battery electric car per mile driven, it might be quick to refuel. The average time it takes to power an electric car can be anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours. But hydrogen electric motors start at five minutes for refueling. The statistics are good if you view it from this angle and this angle only. The reason is that you will mostly spend hours looking for a place to refuel your hydrogen fuel cell cars. There are only 40 refueling stations in the whole of the United States. If that was one for every state, we will still be behind by 10, which is not even the arrangement for this fueling station network. When you take Tesla, for example, they are constantly growing their supercharger stations. As of April 2020, Tesla reported 2,699 stations globally. The combined individual stalls of all these stations are 24,515. The fact that you can charge at home or go to any of these stations makes electric cars the ultimate for convenience. No one wants to be stuck in the middle of nowhere because the nearest refueling center is three hours away. The pecs of having free holiday superchargers like the recent 4th of July offer is also a good reason to stick with electric cars. When Tesla started building supercharging stations, nobody in the EV business was doing it. The company also chose not to charge for it for so long that it was an excellent way to sell more cars. If you buy other cars, you will still buy gasoline, but this one will even charge the battery for free. When they started billing, they made it clear that it was for operational reasons only. And still, a full charge cost $25. Tesla also indicated that they would be allowing other electric vehicles to charge at their superchargers next year, starting from Norway. This milestone puts electric vehicles ahead of fuel cell electric vehicles. The cycle of growth as seen in fuel cell electric cars is not encouraging. There are still a lot of people who would rather buy a hybrid or electric car than purchase a hydrogen-powered car. The reason is connected. At one point, you have few young people buying, which also means few batches in production. That will cut off your economics of scale that electric vehicle makers like Tesla enjoy. Once there are only a few produced at a higher cost, then the fueling stations cannot also spring out into their numbers due to the low demand. The thin number of fueling stations will also discourage people from buying, and the cycle of reasons continues. 
All of this is directly tied to cost. The average SUV type is about $80,000. That is two times the price that even Tesla, which is known as a high-costing brand. The pricing could be due to the size of the hydrogen tanks placed in the cars. The tanks make it impossible to have cars in smaller classes. The cost of production and the production in smaller quantities make hydrogen-powered cars a tough choice, and they are more expensive to charge. So Tesla continues to sell close to 510,000 cars a year, while hydrogen car makers are still struggling to hit 9,000 cars in the last nine years across the US. Let's dive into the environmental and extraction efficiency of hydrogen-powered cars. But first, let's discuss what hydrogen energy is. Hydrogen is the easiest and most common element on Earth. Hydrogen mixes with oxygen to form water and mixes with carbon to create coal and methane. Hydrogen is not available on Earth as a single unit, but we produce it. When it is produced on Earth, the byproducts are heat and water. That is slightly clean, but the process to arrive at that result is where everything will go wrong. It has to be separated from plant and animal waste, biomass, natural gas, and coal. The process of creating hydrogen is called steam reforming. The process involves separating the hydrogen atoms from the carbon atoms. Steam reforming is a massive contributor to global warming because it releases greenhouse gases. How does it affect the environment directly? Hydroxyl radicals are caused when ozone and water vapor react with sunlight. The oxidants react with natural and artificial chemicals in the atmosphere and weaken their potential to cause harm. When any form of hydrogen leaks into the atmosphere, it reduces the concentration and potency of hydroxyl radicals. The cleansing power of the atmosphere deconcentrated means ozone layer depletion by methane and other greenhouse gases. Another way to create hydrogen is to separate it from the oxygen mix in water. The process is referred to as electrolysis. The electrolysis process is expensive and requires a whole lot of energy. North America is responsible for 9 million metric tons of hydrogen each year, which is 9 billion kilograms of hydrogen. A significant amount of hydrogen goes to NASA as fuel for their space program. Food processing and metal treatments also use hydrogen because their byproducts are not harmful. It is, however, a much higher rate of damage than fossil foil. It is projected that 1% of hydrogen leakage, whether through production, transportation, or usage, will result in 6% more harm than fossil fuel. Do you see why Elon Musk is campaigning against it and ready to see it out of business? With the new Tesla vision to bring battery production in-house and the near completion of Giga Texas and Berlin, the deal is done for hydrogen cars. The new battery will improve performance and range for Tesla while reducing production costs. The cost reduction of kilowatt hours will result in making Tesla accessible and cost the same as other gasoline-powered vehicles. Everyone is awaiting the new Tesla models that are expected to cost $25,000. The batteries that will see this through are called 4680. The name is the size of the battery, which is bigger than any electric car battery ever. It measures 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters. When a fan asked Elon Musk on Twitter what batteries will be placed in the Model Ys expected to kickstart production at Giga Texas, he simply replied with 4680. The cars are expected to be ready by the end of 2021, and this got everyone on Twitter excited. The jumbo battery cells have five times more energy storage, six times increase in power and function, and ultimately gives a 16% increase in range. The batteries have been designed to fit the structure of cars, meaning more rigid and cheaper cars. The units are also far cheaper and store more power. The battery line has been described as a game changer and is already scoring collaborative points with Panasonic, which is one of the official battery suppliers of Tesla. The company is set up in the Giga Nevada factory now producing batteries for all Teslas. Panasonic and LG are committed to developing the batteries alongside the Tesla in-house line. Panasonic is already finishing off the prototype. To rewrite a battery's fundamental building block is a massive step, and that is pushing boundaries with the automotive energy storage and function. 
This enhancement will bring more attention to electric cars and dismiss whatever remaining attachments everyone has to hydrogen-powered cars. Elon Musk thinks that hydrogen vehicles are not the future. And we might agree. To learn more about his superior battery technology and its capacity, click on the next video on your screen. Thanks for watching. Until next time.